Oh my God. This is so great. This is so great to be here, man. I'm in such a good mood. I was in a bad mood earlier, but the vibe is good in here, dude. I was in a bad mood because I posted a clip on Instagram. We all got to do that now. And it kind of popped off. And I don't usually read my comments, but this one was doing well. So I was like, I'm going to treat myself to a couple comments. <laughs> and the first comment I read said, look at this Count Chocula looking bitch. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, actually, for a second. <laughs> no, that comment had 148 likes on it. <laughs> and two of them were my friends, so that's good. No, I'm in a good mood, man. I'm having a little beer here. I hope you don't care. I've been drinking a lot, dude. I've been drinking a ton, brother. You have to now. I'm trying to save Bud Light. You have to. I'm single-handedly saving Bud Light. <laughs> You guys know what happened with Bud Light? They got canceled by the right because they had a transgender person in the like post on Instagram drinking Bud Light, and then the right wing got mad, and then uh, Kid Rock shot a machine gun at a bunch of Bud Light, <laughs> and it was kind of sick as hell. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I was I was like shit. I wish I was on his team, but right <laughs> now is a great time. If you're an alcoholic, it's a great time to get into Bud Light. It is. <laughs> Because I could drink, like, 20 Bud Lights on my couch, and if my wife is like, what the fuck are you doing? I could be like, oh, I didn't know I was married to a goddamn bigot. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know I married J.K. fucking Rowling. All right. <laughs> I just had piss running down my leg. I I am married now, which is pretty cool. I got married in the last year. Pretty sick. I like being married, dude. I like being married. I'm 35. I think that's a good age to get married, you know? Because I got engaged the first time when I was 21 because I'm from Indiana and they make you do that. Um, <laughs> it's true. It didn't work out. It's too young, you know? It didn't work out. She ended up cheating on me while we lived together. Shut the fuck up, dude. It's like, ha -ha! Idiot. I was ripped too. He was. He was. <laughs> no, it was a bummer. Getting cheated on while you live with somebody, that sucks. But it does give you the opportunity to pack angrily, which is kind of fun. You ever pack angrily? It, it feels like you're in a movie. It's kind of fun, you know? It's not your best packing job, you know? I was unpacking, like, oh, I took the oven knobs. That was a weird move. All right. Good to have backups, I suppose. You know? <laughs> The only thing that was really fucked up about it was she cheated on me with a doctor. And now I don't trust doctors, dog. I don't. If there's anybody, any doctors in here, fuck you. That's what I feel. But also, if you could look at some shit after the show, that would be sick, too. I don't trust doctors. They do that shit. You go to them and they do that shit where they're like, hey, turn your head and cough. And you're like, why? So you can fuck my wife while I'm looking that way? I know your little games. <laughs> it's a very dumb joke. But no, I'm 35 now. I think that's a good age to be married. I'm way more secure now, dude. I'm way more, like, in touch with my masculinity. <laughs> Sorry. I'm from Indiana, and every time I say that, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I am. I'm way more secure in my, in my masculinity. For example, when me and my wife moved in together, she moved in a bunch of her ex-boyfriend's T-shirts and hoodies and shit she had collected along the years. I think as a younger man, that might have made me feel kind of weird. But now, I wear that shit to go to sleep. I think that's... It's free clothes, dog. He was bigger than me, too, so I feel safe at night. It's pretty cool, man. <laughs> I'll walk around the house all day in his clothes. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I'm Derek. I'm a big man. I'll protect us. <laughs> oh, I'm Derek. I can get an erection whenever I feel like. <laughs> oh, I'm Derek. I could certainly muster up an erection right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm Derek. I certainly don't call it mustering up an erection ever. <laughs> Let me muster it. All right. <laughs> oh. Tell you this, my wife wants to have kids pretty soon. That kind of scares me. Because I'm not, I don't know, I didn't have a dad growing up, and I want to be a good dad, but I didn't have a dad. I will tell you this, I don't think you need a good dad as much as you used to. You need a good mom, for sure, for, like, love and stuff. But, like... <laughs> Dads are supposed to teach you shit. And I grew up without a dad, and I had to learn how to tie a tie recently because nobody ever taught me growing up. And then I found this old guy on YouTube, and he taught me, and now he's my dad. You just pick a dad. They're all over the internet, brother. 
just pick a guy and write, I love you, daddy, on this video. And if he doesn't block you, that's your dad. You know? And I love old guys on YouTube, too, because they don't waste any time. You know, they get straight. To, you follow younger YouTubers, the first three minutes, they're like, hey, before we get to the whole point of the fucking video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit follow and share and hit the alarm button for alert. This old dude I follow gets straight to the point. He's just like, here's how you get rid of a wasp nest. <laughs> he starts in the middle, dude. He's like, here's how you do it. There's no time. We're running out of time. And don't follow me. What are you, gay? <laughs> He's old-fashioned. I don't, I don't like that he talks like that. I am 35, which means I'm old enough to be president now. And I got some big ideas. I got some big ideas for this country, baby. I do. Here's my first big idea. I think this would actually fix some shit. I think we should have a tax for hot people. I'm sorry. I do. I think this never works in L.A. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should tax the hot. If you're super high, you have to pay an extra tax. Because nobody would be mad about that. Not really. If you got a letter in the mail that was like, you have to pay the hot people tax. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> right? About time. About time the government saw what I've been doing out here. <laughs> You'd be pissed if you got that tax one year and didn't get it the next, you know? <laughs> You'd be calling up the government like, I think there's been a mistake. And they'd be like, no, you let yourself go this year, Brittany, I'm sorry. I think hot people tax, I also think big dick tax. That's right. You got a big old dick on you, you got to pay up, bitch. You got a big old crank, you got to pay. I'm not even a comedian. I just wander into bars yelling. Like, Anybody back here got a big dick? Huh? Come on. Give me a couple bucks. It's only fair. Fair is fair. Would be good. I think some guys with big dicks might like that, you know? There's guys who have big old hogs on. You heard of these guys? You got big old cranks. <laughs> that doesn't mean people see them all the time. Some guys got sneaky big dicks. You might have a big dick, but you got a bad personality or a weird tooth or an ugly face. No tails from the sea. I don't know what women are attracted to, but now you wouldn't have to do that. Now you could just like, because like, you can't run around being like, hey, I got a big dick. That's not attractive, you know? And now you wouldn't have to do that. Now you can just be like, hey, taxes were pretty bad this year, huh? <laughs> Let's just say your boy had to fill out a W 10 and a half. <laughs> I had to go to H&R Cock. All right, I have to go. Thank you guys very much. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you. Tom Sakar, everyone. That big dick energy.